Management at the mystical Chalice Well at the foot of Glastonbury Tor, according to legend one of the possible locations of the Holy Grail, have come under fire for removing a much-loved statue of a mother and child. A petition was launched on the website change.org by Jenny Wren Henry. On the site, she wrote, The statue of Our Lady and the Holy Child was recently removed from the Chalice Well Gardens. We are devastated by this loss and respectfully request her return. She is a huge source of comfort to those of us who visit the well and ask for petitions to be granted, or just to speak with her and be in her presence. In response, the Chalice Wells custodians implied that because the statue was inspired by the work of a man who has since been outed as a predator, that it must be taken down. The statue was not made by this man, just inspired by a similar work. They posted a statement on Instagram explaining their decision to remove the iconic fixture. It read, We are really sorry if the removal of the mother and child statue has upset people. This decision to remove the statue from public view in the sanctuary was not made lightly and was mainly because of upholding our ethos at Chalice Well of many paths, one source. The mother and child statue was made many years ago and donated by Ganesh after he had seen the Eric Gill mother and child sculpture at Glastonbury Abbey. In recent years the allegations about Eric Gill have come to light and the new board of trustees who all have long-standing connections with the well considered the potential impact this statue could have for some people. This was one of the contributing factors to making the decision to remove the mother and child statue from her public place in the sanctuary. Our ethos is many paths one source, echoing the pathways through the garden to the wellhead. It is because everyone is welcome, whatever their spiritual belief and the beauty of the garden is enough, that we no longer have statues that could be perceived as a particular spiritual path. The garden is neutral, not multi-faith. All are welcome from all spiritual paths. The natural world is the one thing that unites and sustains us all, regardless of the spiritual path that we follow. There are no longer statues in the Chalice Well Garden because our beautiful garden is enough. All spiritual paths are welcome, as we uphold many paths, one source, with blessings from the well. But the statement drew criticism on Instagram too. One respondent wrote, As a companion, I'm trying to wrap my head around this justification. There is nothing more universal than the mother and child dyad, relatable to all humans. The removal of the mother and child is like removing the victim, not the attacker. I, like many other pilgrims, have prayed, laid offerings, and been in deep contemplation with this important part of the garden and what it represents. To me, it is another violation of the sacred earth mother goddess. Certainly unsurprising in these times, but deeply painful coming from a place which has been such a fundamental part of people's healing journeys. Especially when those journeys have to do with womb healing, which has been needed due to the abuse of the sacred feminine aspect, this feels like a deep violation. I think you really missed the mark not consulting with your companions. Another wrote, Mother Mary and Baby Jesus is universal and crosses all faiths, like Isis and her son Horus sitting in her lap. It's not one religion, it is all. Mother and child is universal. If we take away the names of Mother Mary and Baby Jesus, we get the motherly energy and love, universal love of the mother, that has no religion. And a third added, Chalice Well is always and will be connected to Joshua, Jesus, and his uncle Joseph of Arimathea storylines through legends. Many of us go to connect all of them in the chalice well. The respondent added, It just doesn't make sense. It has been there years, and I feel exactly like I did a few years ago when I heard the news of the holy thorn being chopped down on Wirial Hill. Utmost shock. Why would you not give us time to say goodbyes to this lovely statue, mother and child? It has been silently removed, and being notified just in a single post, no ceremony of thanks, nothing. That's certainly not the way things should be done in Glastonbury. I really expected a bit more of you people. The site is home to a series of legends and mythologies, from the pagan Celts mainly, allegedly being a liminal space and linked to the mystical Otherworld. But it is most connected to Christian mythology, as a place where the young Jesus Christ allegedly visited with Joseph of Arimathea, founding the early church. The legend inspired William Blake's poem Jerusalem, where he wonders whether the feet of Jesus walked upon England's mountains green. In the next verse he added, and was the Holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant pastures seen. In another miracle, the site is also linked with Joseph of Arimathea's staff apparently springing into life as the Glastonbury thorn tree that blooms twice a year. 
and the rusty, iron-rich waters of the chalice well are said to represent the blood of Jesus Christ himself. With deep symbolism and mythology like this associated with the location, it seems rather odd to expunge references to Jesus. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description, or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.